Hi guys. So today's reading is going to be on why other people may be jealous of you. And it's always good to know um, if there are people that are jealous of you because sometimes they act in ways that are not so good towards you and you could be feeling like it's something to do with you. But nine times out of ten, it's usually something to do with them. So seeing what's going on here may help you in that. And we have three piles. One, two, three. Take a moment to get in touch with your intuition and your higher self and pick the pile you feel most drawn to. I also offer personal readings. You can find my Skype link in the description box below if you want to message me on there and set something up. And if you enjoy this reading, please like, share, and subscribe so we can also help other people who may need to see these messages to see them and also grow my channel. And I appreciate it very much. I also want to give a very big shout out to Michelle Cup for donating to the channel. Your gift was amazing and very truly appreciated. Thank you so much for that. And we're going to get started with Pile 1. So for Pile 1, <clears throat> why others could be jealous of you, you may have a very strong emotional balance. They may feel like you have the keys to remaining balanced in any kind of situation that involves your heart. You are also somebody very out of the box, very unusual, very colorful, very vibrant, very fiery, passionate, creative, somebody that just is very different from the crowd and you stand out. You, we also have these Pojo family fun tickets from 1974. So 1974 could be important. 34, 85, 74, 52. Those could be important too. Um, globeticket.com. You may be somebody who is known very widely by people from around the world. You also are just somebody who really enjoys fun and happiness and you really like to have a good time. You're somebody who's very good at manifesting as well. You have all the skills, tools, knowledge, everything you need at your disposal to create the life that you desire and you have this optimism and happiness in doing so as well. You also could be somebody who really is very involved in self-care. Um, Palm Beach. You could also have went on a vacation recently or are planning a vacation and others could be jealous of that, especially with COVID around. Um, you're somebody who works very hard with a lot of patience and determination though, and you make sure to take care of yourself at the end of the day as well. Let's see what we got here. <clears throat> you have fought long and hard. Be proud of all that you have achieved so far. Celebrate your wins. Take some time out for play and fun. Why so serious? All work and no play is making you a little crazy. It's time to fix that by bringing in more balance. So, you could be somebody who works very, very, very hard, and you may not get out and play as much as you should, but other people might really think that that's all you do is you just play, and you just have fun, and you just go on vacations, and you just do all this stuff for you, and they're really not seeing that you have worked so hard to get to where you are right now. You have fought. You have worked. You have grown learn, overcome to obstacles. It's time to really see yourself as this amazing person and to be proud of yourself. <clears throat> I feel like a lot of you just take yourself too seriously, your life too seriously, and you are not looking at all of the things that you have achieved so far. But I feel like there's a lot of people who just really don't see this underneath layer because you are manifesting, you are doing great, you're looking good, you're um, achieving things, but they're really not seeing that you're really not taking the time out to play and to have fun and to just enjoy life. So it would be a good idea to do those things. So we have the magician again, because this is my little magician guy here. So others are jealous of your ability to manifest, to create, to overcome obstacles, to see things from a different perspective, to always have an answer for everything. You are quite capable of turning things around and learning and growing from situations and accumulating all of that knowledge, that wisdom, that understanding of every different faucet of life. And you are able to put that into use. You are somebody who really has a, is very, very connected 
to your higher self you're very connected to your ability to create you may also be very creative person who is very passionate about what you're creating and others are very jealous of your passion of your drive of your commitment of your ability to overcome and your ability to continue on your path yeah we have the eight of pentacles and we have the page of swords and once again you could have a lot of people watching you you could be very much in the spotlight you could also be somebody who communicates to others in a way that helps them to overcome their obstacles as well um, I feel like there's a lot of people who have watched you and seen you grow, learn, achieve, overcome everything that has come your way. And you are like the spider building this web one step at a time. And you are really quite capable of working hard to achieve your victory. And you have put in all this time, this attention to detail, this perseverance commitment solidity and you are working so hard to create the life that you desire and other people are jealous of your ability to commit to yourself and your path and your purpose to this extent they're jealous of you being able to <clears throat> really work hard towards your goals and to still remain in balance even if you aren't taking the time for play and fun you're still in balance you're still able to stand strong. You're still able to continue forward. You're still able to do everything that you need to do to get everything done. Even when you're not taking time out for play and fun. Um, we have give your fears and worries to a higher power. So don't worry about what other people have going on. You know, um, there might be a lot of people watching you and they may be sitting in the background just like, oh, why is this person so perfect? Why does this person always get what they want? Why does this person always achieve all their goals? But they're really not seeing that you're working very hard for it. And these people are not willing to put in the work to achieve their goals. So don't worry about what they got going on. Pray and work towards your goals. Prepare yourself. Rise above the drama. Carry yourself with dignity and integrity. Walk speaks louder than talk, guys. Find what brings peace. It's inside of you. I, Yeah, it's within you. So your peace is within yourself, too. And I feel like others are upset because your peace comes from within you. You aren't looking to validate yourself from an external source. So that can make people very jealous at times, too, because a lot of people are so busy looking for their happiness and their peace outside themselves that they don't even see how much they have within their own lives. So that's what I have for this pile, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear what you have to say about it in the comments below, and I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day whatever it is wherever you are when you're watching bye bye guys pile two hi pile two so what makes other people jealous of you you are somebody very stubborn you are somebody who stands your ground you are somebody who does not put up with bs drama anything like that you're somebody very protective and you are somebody who fights for the things that you love we have earl's sarsaparilla or erps sarsaparilla original if you've ever seen, uh... oh, I can't even think of the movie's name right now, but you are somebody who is ride or die, period. Um, we have WW Super 358 win. So you're somebody who is winning, somebody who um, is winning because of your loyalty, because of your commitment, because of your solidity, because of your constant drive to do good in this world you have been through massive pain hardship hurt and it has it had left a hole in you in your passions in your creativity in your self-love self-esteem self-confidence and you have been able to go within yourself and repair that damage you have been able to Stand up and face all the people against you who wanted to drag you down and who wanted to tear you down, who wanted to kill your dreams and who wanted to keep you from winning. And you have been able to say, no, this is what I'm doing, period. You are very grounded, very down to earth, very humble, very loyal, committed, solid, stable. You may be somebody who really enjoys nature as well. We have be happy, be brave, be drug free. Red ribbon. 
campaign. So you're somebody who is very solid too. You have a lot of self-confidence, a lot of self-esteem. Red Ribbon Week is also October 23rd to the 31st. So there could have been something important in October that happened. Um, you're somebody who learns, who grows, who understands things. You are somebody who um, chooses not to destroy yourself and your own life and the people in your life when you may be around a lot of people who make the opposite choice, who make the choice to allow drugs to um, control them, that they allow themselves to be victimized by addictions when you have taken your power back in your life. And whether you took it back or whether you always had it, they're jealous that you are able to remain in a very temperate state of being. <clears throat> We have the Six of Cups, we have the Devil, we have the Three of Swords, and we have the Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, um, others may have fallen into these addictions or cycles or things that kept them bound or tied down because of their heartache, their pain, their hurt, their misery. And you are somebody who, even though you visited this area, you dived deep into your inner child and you brought that back out and you allowed yourself to release the pain and to move forward and to let go of anything that was holding you back or holding you down or keeping you attached in an unhealthy way. You have been able to change the cycle of the past and you have a lot of abundance coming in for you because of it. You are somebody who's able to ride the ups and downs in life with a very stable, strong, go with the flow type of energy. You're very deep, very emotional, very emotionally connected. Even with everything you have been through, even with all the pain you have dealt with, even with all the toxicity that you've dealt with with other people and the heartbreak and the hurt and everything that has happened like that, especially in your child more than likely for this childhood more than likely for this pile, you have been able to tap back into your love. You are somebody who gives and exchanges love in a very unconditional way, but you expect that in return as well. And if you don't get it, you are somebody who walks away because you know that it's a toxic situation if both people are not giving equally. And you don't put up with situations that are toxic for you or your own health or that are toxic for your family and their health. And you are somebody who's very protective of your kids if you have kids as well. You're somebody who does not play their best friend and just gives them whatever they want to make them happy. Instead, you are actually their parent and you do what is best for them. And other people don't like that either. They're very jealous because they can't do that because they're afraid that if they do that, then all those people in their life will walk away from them because they won't love them anymore because they aren't just giving them everything they want instead of giving them what they truly need. Tough love is love too. And in order to love somebody fully, you have to be willing to give them your sweet, kind-hearted, joyous love, but you have to be willing to give that tough love too. And I feel like this pile is very good at giving that tough love. And I feel like you would take a bullet for your kids if you have kids as well. You see things clearly and for what they really are. You see through the lies of others and you aren't fooled easily, if at all. You are very powerful and so is your presence. So you are somebody who can see through the BS. You see through the drama. You do not allow it to infect your life with that toxicity because you know what it is. You have been through so much of it throughout your life, especially in your childhood. You went through a lot and you learned from it. You grew from it. You changed your life. You did not want to continue repeating that karmic cycle that has been going on in your family for generations you wanted to clear it out and you you may even be claircognizant in this pile as well but you're very knowledgeable you are very you see things you belong here and you chose to come you also know that you belong here and you chose to come here and you wouldn't be doing this if you couldn't handle everything that is coming your way you can overcome anything see call on your ancestors they are here with you <clears throat> Allow yourself some free guilt-free time to think and remember your mother's words and actions. So, it's time to look back at your mom and her words and actions and how she handled things. It's time to compare things and see where you might be doing some things that aren't so great. But it's also time to release yourself from any guilt from that. Because, and to forgive your mother. 
and release her from that guilt. Um, know that your ancestors are here with you, watching you. They, you can call on them for their strength at any time. You have the ability to overcome anything that you're facing. And I feel like others are jealous of that too, that you know you belong here, that you have a purpose, and that you can overcome anything and you're willing to, to be able to bring that purpose to life. So that's what I have for this pile. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear how you felt about it in the comments below. Um, <clears throat> whether or not it resonated, what you got going on. And I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys. Pile three. Yeah, if I can get it over here. The extra card that popped out was popping out again. So, for pile three, I feel like you are somebody very unconditionally loving, very spiritually connected, very confident as well. Um, you're somebody who really enjoys nature too, and you communicate from your heart. You communicate from a place within your heart that is pure, that is down to earth, that is humble. You see things that others miss as well. I feel like you may be a very good diviner in this pile. You may do that through water scrying, fire scrying, surface scrying. Um, you're somebody who really sees things very deeply and you are, you communicate very well. And that communication brings a lot of peace to other people's lives. You're somebody who brings transformation. You have the keys to transformation. You transform yourself a lot as well. I feel like you transform yourself. You transform others in the world around you. We have the scratch and shout lottery scratcher, um, 30 year anniversary for the Idaho lottery. Um, I don't know why I want to say poison ivy. Maybe you had poison ivy at some point in time. Um, <clears throat> you know what? You don't like yelling. You don't like yelling. You don't like fighting. You don't like arguing. You like peace. And you like to bring peace. And you like to communicate. And you like to transform situations. You don't like to keep them in a state of constant argument and fight. And if there is arguments and fights all the time, you will walk away from a situation because you just don't need that in your life, you know? And at the same time, uh, you also know that he who wants a rose must respect the thorn, Persian proverb. So you don't mind you know, dealing with those prickly parts of people and um, overcoming problems and working through things in communication. But if other people aren't willing to communicate and aren't willing to put in their half and aren't willing to compromise, aren't willing to work together, then you will walk away. But at the same time, at the end of the day, you know that everyone has their thorns and you don't hate them. You walk away in a state of love still, but you just aren't going to allow them to drag your life down either. I feel like you're somebody very spiritually motivated, very pure in your thoughts and your actions and your intentions as well. And some people can be very jealous of the fact that you are so pure and that you see things so clearly and that you are so capable of um, fixing situations when they're falling into darkness. A blessing is coming to you soon. Open your heart and your eyes. Believing is seeing. Know that you are protected and your life purpose is very supported. So you are somebody very protected. Your life purpose is very supported. You may not even see this, but others see this and they're jealous of it. Um, you have a lot of blessings coming into you and people know that you are going to be blessed, that you are going to have a lot of changes come into your life that are just going to flip everything upside down because of who you are as a person and the work that you do. You you do a lot of good work in this world. You may be a light worker in this pile. You're somebody who brings transformations. You're somebody who brings communication. You're somebody who brings peace. You are going to be getting a lot of blessings. So open your heart and open your eyes and see what's real and what's true in front of you. We also have the seven of wands and the fool. We have the chariot, the high priestess, and the four of pentacles. So you've been working hard. You've been saving hard. You've been doing all the things that you need to do. You may be holding back a little bit as well, but it's time to take that leap of faith and know that you will still have everything that you have built in your solid foundation if you take a leap of faith and just go with whatever your intuition is telling you. And um, I feel like others... Some people feel like you have a lot of blessings and you're very selfish with those blessings and keep them to yourself and they're jealous of that. But you also know what an equal give and take is and you know when you're supposed to be holding back. So you hold back when you're supposed to be holding back. Um, 
And you take a leap of faith when you're supposed to be taking a leap of faith. You are somebody who stands up and fights for what you believe in. You're like this light in the dark for others. Others look up to you. They follow your guidance. They listen to the words you have to say. You are somebody very action oriented and you have really grounded yourself. You have brought your shadow side and your light side together and you are taking forward action, listening to your intuition, listening to the signs, the synchronicities, your guides, your ancestors, the divine. You are listening and you are taking action action based off of that. You are somebody who keeps a lot to yourself. You're very mysterious. People don't really know who you are underneath. And there's a lot of people that are jealous of that too, because some people just tell everybody everything about themselves and they don't leave anything for mystery. So people are bored after the first five seconds, but you are somebody who um, knows that you don't need to give it all away right away because you have a whole lifetime to do that. You're also somebody who trusts in your own wings. We have trust the guidance that you are receiving. Changes are coming. Something new approaches. So we have that twice. Know that there's a lot of good changes coming. You may have had to save and scrimp and work hard and you really haven't had a whole lot. You have been barely making it, but there's a lot of good coming in for you. And some people are jealous of that too, but you worked your ass off for this. Don't allow their jealousy to get on your nerves or to upset you. There may be some people trying to control you, trying to be a little possessive, manipulative. There may be some very stingy, greedy people around you who refuse to to give you anything or help you out in any way and it's because they're jealous of you everything has a purpose guard your heart but not too much it's time to open your heart up a little bit too you wouldn't be facing this if you couldn't handle it. So you're somebody who knows that you wouldn't be facing everything you're going through if you couldn't handle it and you continue to work. And no matter what happens, you still are standing strong at the end of the day. And you're somebody who's able to open your heart, but you're not somebody just giving it away to anybody and everybody. You also guard it and keep it safe too. So that's what I have for this pile. And I would really love to hear what you have to say about it in the comments below, what's going on in your situation, what you might be working on, because I'm very interested in that too. And I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are, when you're watching. Bye-bye guys.